He looks depressed. What happened to you, my little guy? I got a bad feeling. A real bad feeling. His lips are not even moving. <laughs> Watching this sick shit. This is sickening. Guy, a blood clot, man. This man is right. Stop looking at those disgusting SpongeBob feet pics. Stop it. Get some help. And Bam. I can help you. Start watching Boy Dilly instead. I make Dead by Daylight videos, and I got a very big cock. Also, look at this beautiful dog. Yeah, he's dead now. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make me a happy little boy. Also, you can become my supporter by clicking that jingly wingly join button. I will play Dead by Daylight with you, you will get an exclusive Discord role, and you will get to see some exclusive secret videos. Join now and satisfy your inner needs. Anyway, let's get straight into the video. So, Nicolas Cage is in Dead by Daylight. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, that's the wrong picture. Okay. So, Nicolas Cage is in Dead by Daylight and honestly, I have never seen even a single movie with this guy, so I have no idea of who the fuck is this dude. So, naturally, I wasn't excited for Nicolas Cage to come to Dead by Daylight, I did not expect anything good, but I was wrong, man, because we got some of the craziest perks we have ever seen in Dead by Daylight. So, the first perk is Dramaturg. Dramaturgy, 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 papi manana. This perk is kind of crazy. Uh, basically, you press your active ability button and it gives you 25% of haste effect for 2 seconds, which means that you are extremely fast for 2 seconds. But after using this perk, you will become exhausted for 40 seconds, and also one of the following unknown effects will apply. You will either become exposed for 12 seconds, which is a a very unfortunate scenario, or you will gain additional 2 seconds of haste effect, which will help you to escape the killer, or you will scream but nothing happens, or you will get a random rare item and you will drop the item you're holding in your hands for that random item. So this perk is a completely RNG perk. This perk can be a very very good perk, but in some cases this perk might result in you dying earlier than you thought because you you will become exposed at some times. So just take a look at me trying this perk for the first time. Wait, where is the hill? What the? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, look. Wait, what the fuck? I, oh, I fucked it up. I'm exposed now! Shit. Okay. I fucked it up, there's no window. Uh, excuse me, please hit her, not me. Hit her, what the heck are you doing? No. I'm telling you, 21st century women are fucking abusers. The second perk is Scene Partner. I thought this perk would be related to Pornhub, but it turns out it's not. Basically, when you look at the killer and when you are in killer's terror radius, this perk activates and then Whenever you start looking at the killer, you will scream for, uh, and it will reveal killer's aura for 5 seconds. And there's a little chance that you will scream again and you will get an additional 2 seconds uh, t to look at where the killer actually is. But this perk has 60 second cooldown and you know, this perk is like the least interesting out of the three new perks, but this perk seems to be the most consistent and I already found this perk pretty helpful in some situations, so even though this is not some sort of a big perk, yet again this is an RNG perk because sometimes you will scream only once, but sometimes it will make you scream twice, and in some situations you will forget why the fuck am I screaming, and then you will realize oh I got this perk on me, that's why I'm screaming. So it's kind of funny. And the last perk, plot twist, basically lets you kill yourself. Thanks for the assist. <laughs> he said thanks for the assist. 
<laughs> and then he went down. Yeah, when you are injured, you can literally go into the dying state by pressing your active ability button. And then when you are in the dying state, you can basically recover, fully recover yourself, just like you would with Unbreakable. But if you recover yourself, then you will be fully healed as, as soon as you recover. And you will get some additional haste effect. Honestly, I would never expect a perk like this coming to death by daylight. I'm incredibly surprised and surprisingly this perk is kind of useful for example imagine you are playing against albert wesker and you are close to a window already injured and albert wesker charges his power at you then you press your active ability button and you go down and when albert wesker charges his power at you he will just vault through the window instead of hitting you because you all you are already down this is very useful especially if you are playing on a map that has two floors, for example RPD or Midwich, because then the killer will just fall down into the first floor and you will have a bunch of time to recover yourself. So this perk, plot twist, it sounds like a meme perk, but it's probably like the most useful perk out of three new perks and I'm honestly very very surprised with all of these perks. They all sound very situational, very RNG and kind of comedical. The reason that the RNG nature of these perks makes me happy is that I believe that Dead by Daylight is a casual game, it's not a competitive game and all of these stupid developer balancing decisions were starting to piss me off and right now I thought what a great time it would be for developers to introduce something pretty casual into the game and these perks they don't sound like meta perks it's not like i will use these perks all the time but i don't believe that you will use these perks all the time either but it's very fun sometimes to take these perks into your game and they will make your games go so much better they will make you laugh during your games I only spent like 30 minutes on the PTB today because I was too busy with stuff, but I already had my fun in 30 minutes. Honestly, I did not expect this. I was totally not excited for Nicolas Cage. I did not expect any good perks whatsoever. And you know, playing with these new perks, it made my day. It was so much of fun. You have no idea, guys. And I laughed a lot and I'm excited to go and play more of the PTB. Overall, I think that this update is kind of amazing. I like the new Cold Wind changes so far. Uh, we are getting some Onria buffs. I saw some comments on my latest video and people were saying that Onria is actually getting a nerf, not a buff. And I don't understand how, because I'm not an Onrio player, I'm not Sadako player, so I don't know, I will have to test her, I guess. Um, but other than that, all of the new changes so far are surprisingly good. Usually I, I hate Dead by Daylight updates because DBD developers tend to fuck something up. And this time I will give them a big applause. Good job, developers. Anyway, I'm waiting to go back and play again with these perks. Again, these are not gonna be meta perks. If these perks become meta perks, then I'm an alien from the planet Teddy Bear. <laughs> because there's no way that these perks will become meta perks. Because they're just too random. And even though by nature Dead by Daylight is not a competitive game, it's a casual game. But Dead by Daylight players started to take this game incredibly seriously ever since skill-based matchmaking system got introduced into the game and uh, nowadays if you take something like a casual perk build you're gonna lose most of the time and i know that dead by daylight players are very desperate to win their games so yeah that, that that's it that's what i wanted to say in this video i'm happy with this and also um yeah, I, I'm gonna end this video with this demonstration of uh, Yui Kimura's muscle.